In this video, we will have a look on the delete statement. Whenever you want to remove some of the records from a table, you can use the delete statement to remove such records. You can use the where clause as we have used so far in the select or in update statement. You can use the where clause here with the delete statement as well in order to choose the record which you want to delete. But still the delete statement will be different from the truncate statement because this one is DML the data will still be there in the memory and if required you can roll it back but the truncate will also commit the things so the recovery of the data will not be possible. Now let's have a look on the delete statement practically. So now we'll see how can we delete as data. So here I'll have to write a delete an optional from keyword whether if you want you can remove this keyword now after this you will have to add the table name so here delete from table if you will execute this one it will remove all the data from the table because I haven't passed any condition so it will remove all the records from the table and the table will be blank but as I said it will be different from the truncate as it, the memory will not be uh, f released and the data will still be there in the memory so what we can do is you can add the condition like that where and we have already seen a number of times how we can add those conditions all right we have already seen the number of operators which we can use in the comparison while working with the where clause so here as we can do amp id where EMP ID is equal to 121 so it is the record the 21st record let's execute it and here it's removed 20 records are there 121 is not there now so now you can do the nesting as well the way you want alright so this is how you can start working with the delete statement